Hi. This video is for you who has love and hate experience on Melissa's shoes, or you want to start having one but not sure if it's going to be a smooth ride. My name is Apple, and let me help you. I don't have the most shoes, but I do have three pairs. This is my first pair. I bought this in 2013. I bought this impulsively because it's cute. And Valentino and Christian Louboutin is very famous for the studs, if you remember. But I don't have the money to buy those designer shoes, so I'm buying the Melissa one. Unfortunately, the pointy thing here is very painful because the jelly is rubbing onto my skin and my skin usually bleeds so I'm very careful on purchasing the next Melissa shoes After 9 years, I gave Melissa a second chance It's this one and it's called Alpha Ad I can definitely see that they improve the material the jelly is way smoother so it doesn't rub my skin like crazy This Alpha Ad comes in two colors but Obviously, I picked the black ones. The ribbon is detachable, so it becomes like a normal flat. I am very happy with this purchase. Because I'm happy, I bought another pair. I am happier with this purchase. Because I didn't know that the flip-flops is gonna be way more comfy than their flat shoes. So if this is gonna be your first purchase, I suggest you to try the flip-flops or a sandal. If you compare the price and the designs, I think it's worth it. And the material is durable too. I mean, this is 9 years old, but it's really good. There's no damage, just a little scratch, but it's okay. It, it gets a little bit dirty, but it's okay. But they definitely have improvements, so that's why I have another faith on Melissa's shoes. I don't know if you can see, the quality of the jelly is different. This one is thinner, and this is thicker, and it has smoother material compared to this one. You can see that the insole, this is very sturdy, but this one, it's more padded. You can see that my, my finger is bouncing back. The hate part is, it's tricky. You don't know if your Melissa is gonna fit you well if you don't try it. I hate that it doesn't guarantee the same comfort with different design. The first pair is like, you like a guy so much and you can't wait to be with him. But once you're with him, he hurts you. And that's what happened with this pair. So I've learned not to buy the pointy one for Melissa. This is painful. I know it's comfortable not because it's Melissa, but because I wear it. So yeah, I think that's the tricky part. You have to try it. It's different with Doc Martens, the one that I reviewed here or here. No matter the type you're buying, it's gonna be comfortable. But it's different with this one. Yeah, that's a tricky part of Melissa that I don't like. I feel like every time I come to Melissa, it brightens up my mood. Because when you have a good shoes, your whole outfit change. Your whole style change. So, if you're about to purchase one, I suggest buy the flip-flop or the sandal because it's cheaper. That's so you can feel the rubber or the plastic and then you can predict if you like it or not Because with shoes, you have to try to walk on it first and then you can know if this is a good shoes or not, right? I hope you find this video helpful in making your decision and I'll see you on the next review. Bye! Three.